Hi there, Lynn Allen here, coming to you from Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm here for the Autodesk University Extension. I'm very excited about that. I did think I would share with you what they sent me when I asked for a wake-up call. Hopefully you can see that okay. Along with a note that said, Dear Miss Allen, this is how we do wake-up calls in Africa. Alrighty then, we are not in Kansas anymore, are we? <laughs> so today's tip is going to work out great if you are inside AutoCAD 2012, 13, or 14, but I'm also going to show you how you can use it if you're in a previous release. All right, and it has to do with the Autodesk Exchange, the land of free apps. Okay, have you been there? Have you checked it out? Let me show you how to get there. First off, upper right hand corner of the screen, there is an X. Have you ever clicked on the X? If you have, it takes you to the Autodesk Exchange, specifically the apps that have to do with AutoCAD. Now you'll see that some of these apps are free, some of them you have to pay for, um, but there are some great applications on here that are gonna make your experience with AutoCAD even better. Now on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see the most downloaded apps. No surprise, most of those are free. The one that seems to always be at the top is that SketchUp application, which allows you to very easily bring SKP files into AutoCAD. And uh, if you have AutoCAD 2014, you'll find that that app is loaded automatically by default. Okay. So but there's all kinds of great apps on here. And you know maybe there's that one command that you have just been waiting for us to put inside of AutoCAD, but we haven't done it yet. Well, this is your chance to see if maybe someone else has written the app for you. Make your life perfect, right? It's super easy to do a search. I'm going to search for my favorite app. And I'm not going to say it's worthless. <laughs> it's a little bit of a waste of time, though. I'm not going to lie about that. That's the Hangman app. Now, if you download this app, just promise me that you will only use it on breaks and before and after work because we certainly don't want to be spending time on anything not work-related, right? But it is a fun app. I'm not going to lie. I've had it. A good time with it. So as you can see, you can do a search for all different types of apps. Um, let me just go back over to the home page. If you take a look down here, there's some featured apps. There's like the new ones or the ones that they want to promote that maybe they um, people have been asking for. Whatever the situation is, you see like this one's $3, this one's $10. I like the zombie killer. Let's just take a look at zombie killer. Uh, if you have a big drawing, don't know why it's so big, can't figure it out, not that many objects in it, you might want to download Zombie Killer because it's going to get rid of those, pro those proxy objects. Uh, the reason I actually clicked on it, even though I'm sure it's a, it's a great feature, you'll see there's product reviews too, so you can see what other people think about the app. So if it gets five stars, you know it's a good one. If it gets no stars, maybe not such a good one, right? <laughs> but I want to show you, on the lower right-hand corner, it shows you the releases it's compatible with, and you'll see this one goes all the way down to 2012. So a lot of these apps are work great in, in 12 and higher. Now, what if you have a release of AutoCAD before that? Well, let me show you what you can do. Let's say I'm on AutoCAD 2011. I'm just going to come up here and type in AutoCAD 2011. You can see I've already done that search. And it's going to show me the apps that also work inside of AutoCAD 2011. Most of these do. I found a couple that even when I searched it said 2011, but when I dove into it, it didn't work in 2011. Most of these do. Most of them do work inside of AutoCAD 2011. All right, so, or 10 or whatever the situation is. All right, so hopefully you're going to take a look at the Autodesk Exchange, the AutoCAD apps. So let me bounce back over to AutoCAD. And I'm going to point out also that there is a plugins tab if you have 2013 or 14. Now, if you don't have 2013 or 14, you can still use the apps. You're just not going to—they're not going to show up in the ribbon. But you can see that here. I have the import SKP file, the SketchUp app, which I said was loaded by default in 2014. You can see, of course, I didn't lie. I did download Hangman, and you'll see Zombie Killer on there. I just love the names of these commands, right? Zombie Finder and Zombie Killer. So. Definitely take a look at the Autodesk Exchange. I think that you're going to find some great applications up there that are going to make your AutoCAD life so much better. And promise me also that you will join me back here in two more weeks, okay? I'm off to search for the lions and tigers and bears. Although there are no tigers and bears in Africa that I know of. Okay, take care. Have a great week.